Welcome back to GTA Insights. Possible spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Reddit user AO Stop the Cap posted a bunch of findings about the upcoming GTA game that he found re-watching the leaks. See what he discovered. I'll try not to repeat what other posts have said, so I'll try to narrow it down to things I think others missed or never talked about. Mountains and hillsides are confirmed for the game. Do not stress about the lack of verticality in the next Grand Theft Auto. This was a worry for some time due to Florida being quite flat in terms of landmass. During the robbery clip where Lucia and Jason are robbing the waffle shop, when Lucia leaves via the side entrance and takes cover behind a car, we can see a large hill in the far distance. Then when Lucia runs to the Port Gelhorn police car, we can see a far bigger mountain, much clearer view, off in the distance. Now, these hills or mountains aren't akin to Mount Kiliad in terms of design. Much more smooth and more grass. But I'm at least glad we are getting some verticality to the map. Weight mechanic is back? This might sound weird, but during the two strip club clips, Lucia looks oddly way thinner around the waist compared to other clips and she's a lot more thick in that clip? I don't know any other way to say it, LMAO. This could imply possibly a weight feature being implemented back into the GTA series? It was in Red Dead Redemption 2 so it's pretty likely. Weapon skill leveling? This might just be a toggleable or optional feature for the player, but we can see Jason shooting a rifle from his hip. In GTA San Andreas, shooting things like rifles from your hip was only an option when CJ had very low weapon skill stats. This could imply that maybe this mechanic is back for GTA 6. Heavy fog. During a clip of Lucia in a gunfight with police, there is a ton of fog dwelling on Vice City. Whilst fog was in GTA 5, it wasn't at the amount seen in a clip where you legit can barely anything 30 feet in front of you. GTA for Euphoria Ragdoll Physics? Jumping and ragdolling is back from GTA 5. Whenever an NPC is shot and falls over, or when the player jumps and ragdolls, the ragdoll physics look more in line with GTA IV's Euphoria Physics. New Weapons and Items A clip of Lucia at a gas station features several lines of text that indicates multiple new items and weapon options. Spear Gun Bolt Action Sniper Golf Wedge Golf Iron Golf Driver Crowbar Cut-off tool, smoke grenade X8, flashbang X8, golf ball X8, tracker jammer, immobilizer bypass, USB drive, auto dialer, lockpick, binoculars, slim jim, eagle eye, eagle eye, an ability from Red Dead Redemption 2 that allows you to focus on locations of key interest in your radius is in GTA 6. This is seen in a clip where Jason is a store. UI. UI has changed to where interaction options, like greeting and antagonizing an NPC or stashing gold is now hovering right next to the interactable item and character instead of being in the corner. Loot Bag Jason and Lucia have loot bags. These can be seen when Jason is opening his shipping container and the options for stash gold and stash cash stack are available, so Jason puts the gold and cash into his loot bag. This could imply that during robberies in free roam and missions you are only able to carry a limited amount of stolen loot. Interestingly, when stealing the cash stack, Jason only picks up the cash one by one. You can order gumballs from a gumball machine. That's all. You can carry bodies. Unlike in Red Dead Redemption 2, you can actually run with them. Maybe this implies Lucia is actually stronger than Arthur and John? I'm kidding. It could just be because it's an early build and they haven't implemented a separate animation for carrying bodies. You can adjust your camera to focus on your left or right side. This also changes what hand you hold your weapon. Grappling in fistfights is confirmed. In one of the clips, there was a control panel on screen that showed different button prompts for animation, one of which was grappling. This is likely the same function as grappling in Red Dead Redemption 2 which likely means we could get close quarters combat quite like that game. Several different listings on a debug menu. A lot of this can be up to interpretation as to what it means, if it should be considered or whatnot, but this is a lot of what I saw through several different lines featured in a debug menu in different clips. Some of these could be models, some could be animations, some could be location. This could all mean nothing. This is all listed under World Events, Playing Dice, Museum, Several Overhear Conversation Variation, UFO, Skunk Ape, Cop Pat Downs, Cop Pat Down, Gang Mail Found Something, Cop Pat Down, Gang Mail Found Nothing, Mentions of a Place Called Jack's Liquor Store. Mentions of the Guardia Brothers, likely some sort of gang. Mentions of Rabic Dogs. Cop traps at several locations, one being a place called Kington Hotel. Dealer Robbery. Mentions of an angry woman at Molly. BU Club and Vice Beach Plaza. 
haunted warehouse, warehouse sex robots, missing tourists, trophy room victims, cave victims, Satanist house, broken bridge, big cat mansion, skunks, alligators, boars, snakes, raccoons are confirmed. Raccoons can climb into garbage bins. Alligator attacking a boar animation from Red Dead Redemption 2 is back. Forest figure. Holiday house. Mummified old lady. Mentions of a farm monster. Farm monster man first visit. Farm monster man transformation. Outdoor movie screen. Abandoned hovercraft. Abandoned outpost. Canyon etchings. Etchings of a canyon? Or etchings in a canyon? Fishing is confirmed. Pawn shops are in the game. Kudzu house mystery. Bonnie and Clyde mystery. Everglades crashed plane. Dead paraglider. Usable paragliders in the game? Swamp tour crash. Burger shot is confirmed. Ancient Labyrinth Visitor Center. Spaceship House. Lost at Sea. Island Camp. Lost Plane. Lighthouse Mystery. Mentions of Sarah. Probably a parody on NASA or SpaceX. Sarah Minivan. Sarah Failed Space Engine Capsule. Underwater Research Facility. Trains in Forest. Toxic Floating Trash Island. Zorbing Accident. Mentions of Easy Scores. Body Shop. Cafe. Closing Store. Bulk Storage. Voice in Storm Drain. Likely a reference to IT. Washington Beach Water. St. Joseph Marine Water. What do you guys think? Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 news.